like knew it really early on in the first days of talking with him that he was my person. It was like fire between us truly. Happy birthday. Wow, thank you very much. I baked you cupcakes. I know, I see that. This is very sweet, Bliss. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. My favorite song is yeah. I Hope You Dance by Leanne uh, Wombat. Really? That's my mom's song for like me. That's gonna be my first dance song to whoever I marry. Well, you know Zach and Bliss from season four, the reality show Love is Blind. It's all the rage, Larry. Yeah. Uh, they fell in love with each other in pods where you could only speak to each other. Uh -huh. That's the premise of the show, but you can't see each other. They got married in the season finale. They had a baby earlier this year, and now wow. they're hosting a new podcast called Blind Love. And Zach and Bliss join us now. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hey. Thanks for having us. Well, this... Did you ever think, you go on these reality shows, I keep thinking, who thinks they're actually going to find love and this will actually work? And now it's how many years later? I know, I did not think that, but it's been two and a half years, so here we are. Yeah. And we have Hannah and Tori here because they are big fans and they have a couple questions to ask you. As long as you're here, yeah, do you have do you anything mind? you so want to ask? Hannah, what would you, you want to ask? Well, so I was curious, you know, Everyone watches this show. They have opinions about your relationship. Is it nice to have this podcast and be able to kind of show people the true nature of your relationship and how it's evolved since the show? I, I think that, um, I think that's just the beauty of getting to know people on an intimate level as you get to see the complexities of who they are and the nuances. I, I think for us, it's really just about having a, a time in the day where we can just sit down and connect and we just film it. So you really had no qualms about agreeing to marry someone that you were not going to see. <laughs> it was an experiment, right? So for me, it was like, let's just see how this all plays out. I didn't go into it being like, I'm 100% going to marry someone. But when the time came, yes. <laughs> I, think, I think the heart of it, of the experiment, is trying to fall in love based on who someone is on the inside. And how can you eliminate any obstacle to, to really understanding who someone is. So getting rid of all of those preconceived judgments and then seeing what happens. Well, yeah, you're obviously a big success story for the show. This season, I guess everybody's talking about it. I know you guys are probably following along. Tori wants to ask you a question about this season. So go <laughs> ahead, Tori. Um, so I was actually curious to know, this season, I feel like a lot of couples are breaking up before they're getting to the altar. But in the past, everyone has made it and then it's kind of like, are they going to say yes? Are they going to say no? So I'm wondering if you guys have any thoughts on why that's happening more so as the seasons go on. Like, why are people not making it that far? You know, it's, it's hard to say, but I think that sometimes people wait until the altar to make their final decision. And some people know beforehand. And I think it's just kind of random. I don't know, Zach, what do you think? Yeah, I, I would say I, I, I know what you're talking about. There's definitely um, a trend where people are making that decision earlier. Um, I don't know if that's a, just a coincidence or if that's because um, of seeing the trend. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I think obviously it's a, a good idea. Yeah, it's better to be to not <laughs> left at the altar. Yeah. <laughs> what about this? What about this guy, Tyler, who supposedly... Uh, you know, has, has, has not been truthful and there's all these things coming out. What do you make about him? I think he's a good guy. Yeah, I think you don't really know someone until you know them in person. I think that that's kind of what we want to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> so are like, you uh, saying reality shows are not authentic? <laughs> yeah, do they well, vet you guys? Do that? I mean, if I, someone I has that... kids and they're not telling someone they have kids, don't the producers know that? You know, we don't know. We we don't know what's going on with all of that. We we just hope the best for everyone, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to comment on someone else's life, but yeah. But think... in reality TV, there's only so much time, right, that can be shown. You can't show every single part of a person or every single scenario and every single conversation. So that's what I'll say about that. I'd also say um, people are complex, you know, and people make mistakes and. Um, the beauty of life is is in grace and forgiveness, and um, so that's that's kind of what what we hope to to push, you know. In Do this they world. ask just... you guys a lot of questions before you get picked for that show, though? 
Yes, definitely. Oh, so, There's well, lots of very rigorous vetting process. Well, it's interesting. Tell us about your podcast. Do you talk all about this show or is it a lot more than that? You want me to talk? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I, I mean, our podcast is really about family and relationships um, and love. And uh, so what, what we really do is we just sit down and talk every week about what's going on in our lives and the the obstacles that we're facing and um, how we're learning to be new parents mm -hmm. and things like that. But we also interview people from the, the sh show and um, and just parents in general. Are well, you, oh, go I ahead, was just going to ask something really quick. Are you guys like excited to tell your daughter about how you guys met and have her like watch the show in the future? I am so excited about that. How cool is it that she gets to see us fall in love? That's so special. Um, yeah, we're really excited when it's age appropriate to share that with her. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Well, thanks for joining us. The podcast is Blind Love. You can follow Zach and Bliss on social media. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Hannah. Thanks. Thank Corey. you, ladies, for coming in.